Water lapping over San Francisco's Embarcadero may be a familiar sight, but now a new study by our partners at the nonprofit research group Climate Central is painting a much more dire picture. Projections of widespread flooding in coastal cities based on temperature rise. I'm afraid that a lot of what we're showing here is already in the pipeline or about to be in the pipeline uh, because there are a lot of things in San Francisco in the Bay Area that could be affected. Chief scientist Benjamin Strauss says the study compares scenarios of peak temperature rise above pre-industrial levels with a relatively optimistic rise of 1.5 degrees Celsius. Downtown San Francisco still looks familiar from above, but double that rise to 3 degrees Celsius in coming decades and areas south of market could be underwater at high tide. Zoom in on the Museum of Modern Art, and the contrast becomes even clearer. And the picture isn't much brighter in the lush park site around Lake Merritt in Oakland. While some of the worst-case scenarios might take many decades or centuries to play out, researchers say coastal cities around the world will likely have to build defenses like higher seawalls to survive. The consequences of failure of defenses will be quite large if the sea level is you know, 10 or 20 feet above you. But that's the potential future situation if we don't get our climate pollution under under control and very quickly. He says global climate pollution would have to be cut in half by the end of this decade to maintain the more optimistic of 1.5 degrees Celsius peak and head off the worst effects. But with a major climate summit set to begin next month in Scotland, Strauss believes there is still hope if we take quick action. The world will remember what they do on climate, especially if they fail, but they have the chance to be heroes if they can succeed and if all of us can succeed. A challenge for world leaders now coming into sharper, if not dire, focus.